And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Triple A action coming at you on the show. It's the Norfolk Tides and the Reno Aces. First pitch coming your way next. Just about ready to go. Getting the nod on the mound. Dre Jamison. Chris, how about a scouting report? Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. So two down, and now the catcher comes up to hit. Number four. First offering misses the mark. Get your pitch, drive it right now. The pitch. That one missed. That's a laser base hit. Now he turns and heads for second. And that's a two-bagger. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. Now pitching for Norfolk, number 40, Phoenix Sanders. Here's the catcher, number four, number doubled four. his first time up. I work it ahead. And that one fouled off. Oh, one down. On the ground to third. Young fires to first on the run. That's one out the bottom of the second. The batter, the third baseman. Team at full four. Take your base. Three. Ball four. Take your base. Stepping in, number four, one for two. Number four. Ah, let's get ready. And yeah, the first offering is not close. Lace down the line. This looks like extra bases. Runner from second scores as they add on. It's seven to nothing. In safely with a double, his second of the day. Comes through with the RBI. He got a pitch he could get to out front, kept his bat through the ball, and didn't pull off or roll his hands over. And that allowed him to rip that ball down the line for the double. And here's the Come catcher, on, number four. Here. Now batter, number four. That's the third. And it gets by him. One run is in. Fletcher around third. He's also in to score. It's 9 nothing. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. There's something about pulling one down the line and shooting it through the infield that's just so satisfying as a hitter. It's just fun turning on a pitch like he did right there. Three, three. Ball four, six, 
One out, base is empty. Now at the plate, number four. Ball one, no strikes. And a pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Still only one out here in the inning. See it drive it, kid. See it drive it. That one inside. Oh, now two and two. All right, one time here. There's a swing and a drive. This one's got a chance. That's down. One hops off the wall. And he's got to double his fourth hit. Boog, I know you love the slug. Well, sluggy percentage is on the rise in this one. That's his third extra base hit of the game. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Three. Ball four. Ball four. Well, I don't know what they did in the cage today or on the field for batting practice, but when you win by double digits, something is clicking. That batting coach feels pretty good about himself right now, but more so the players. They can't wait for the next one. Come back out, score, and get another W. 11-0 your final score for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chambi saying so long. The final line score for our ball game. For the victorious Aces, 11 runs, 15 hits, 2 errors with 13 runners left on. For the tie, no runs, just 1 hit, no errors, they left 16 men on base. Time of the ball game, 3 hours and 31 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.